morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, like minds. Good morning, inquisitive minds. I say so because it takes inquisitiveness. It takes the curiosity to know, to bring you out of your house, in spite of this cold, to sit here. You're not under compulsion. You're not writing any exam. You're not taking any lecture. You want to know. You want to improve. You want to be a better person. And here you are. The topic, the Northern Nigerian woman beyond certificates. Why the Northern Nigerian woman? What brings in the issue of certificate? At this age, the speaker before me talked about taking yourself to the next level. Beyond qualification, we are close. Just that my focus, as they would call us feminist, whatever, is on the woman, Northern Nigerian. The issue here is the Northern Nigerian woman is filled with a lot of problems. Lack of education, patriarchy, subjugation, the society, the cultural impediments. From the beginning of her life, she was subjected to her father, her brothers. Her father sees first she is delivered when a boy child is expected. Second, she is subjected to second class below her brothers. In fact, in what scenarios, her dowry or bride price is used to pay the school fees of her brothers, younger or older. Besides that, during the day or in the cold evenings when every meal is being prepared, she is expected to be in the kitchen with her mother while the younger brother gallivants the street either on bikes or on bicycles. He doesn't have to be domestic. The mother is also expected by tradition to bring up this young girl only to be a good wife to the prospective husband. So eventually, she gets a place of primary assignment from the parents' home to the husband's home. All her life is channeled towards being a good daughter, being a good uh, wife, being a good daughter-in-law, being a good sister-in-law, and so on and so forth. The question is, where then is her own life? Where is the personality? Where is the individuality? Who gives her the opportunity to develop herself? We're not, that is reality. Let's just now go to literature. From the beginning of literary writings in northern Nigeria, women were not even spoken about. When female writers, few of them, like Zena Bakari, came into the scene, they cried, oh, the treatment, the plight of women in northern Nigeria, it was literature of lamentation. They cried, oh, why did you do this to the woman? Zena Balkali, in her own part, now developed a news, her inspiration, what she saw as the escape for the Northern Nigerian woman was education, in quote. In Stillborn, she presented the character of Lee. Lee was an urgent character, even after marriage. She dead the father, came out of the marriage, went to school, then went back to her husband. That is what Zena Balkali will used to argue, I am not a feminist. Beyond Zena Balkari, Abaka Giba came into the scene. Though a man, he saw the plight of the woman. Rezinat Mohammed came into the scene. Asaba Kabir came into the scene. And they said, no. Okay? You said education was the news. Eh, but they don't allow your girl child to go to school. Girl children are now going to school. Is their problem solved? No. They still get to go to school. Graded with the certificate. Elder secondary. A larger number. In 2017 UNICEF study, about 18 million girl children are out of school in Nigeria. And a larger percentage of that number belongs to Northern Nigeria. Out of the percentage that belongs to Northern Nigeria, about 60%, out of that 60%, when you take it on a whole, on 100, about 60% of that 100 do not go beyond primary school level. About 20% go beyond secondary school level. That gives us 80. The remaining 20 that goes to the university. Then out of that 20 that goes to the university, when you square it again to 100%, about 60% of them 
put their certificates under their forms in their husband's houses and subjugation continues. The question now comes, what has education done for you? That is where the topic comes. The Northern Nigeria woman beyond certificate. I didn't say don't marry. There is no African tradition. There is no African man. There is no African woman that will speak against marriage. It is part of us and it is us. And that is what both religion and tradition has prescribed. But marriage, my argument here is that marriage shouldn't be an impediment to personal development. The argument I am giving you here, where I stand, I don't think I am to be corrected. For those of us that are married here, a, an educated wife is a better mother to your children. You will have to look for a lesson teacher. She knows the importance of education, so she knows how to make sure. When we talk of education, I'm not talking about Western education. I'm talking about education, religious and secular education. Because even the religious illiteracy is worse than even the Western illiteracy. Am I making point? We now go further. When um, Omar Mohammed came into the scene with his novel, Amina, Omar Mohammed said, No. You do not have to get education to a level. The major character of Omar Mohammed text is Amina. She was withdrawn from the university at 200 level and married off by her father. Her husband was very wealthy. They have, her friend, Maria Fatima, came and said, is this how you are going to be sleeping and lying and eating because your husband is wealthy? He said, what do you want me to do? I, did, I was not allowed to complete my education. He said, no. Even with the little you have, there is something you can give back to your society, especially your immediate society, because there are women, who, women or females, who did not even get the little you have. The form what you have, you can give something back to society. And making yourself relevant in that, by doing so, by the time you make yourself relevant, you are building yourself. The northern woman, beyond the certificate, should build herself. She will have personality. She will have individuality. She will be a good mother, a role mother that your child, a role mother that your child will not be afraid to say, that is my mother. <laughs> a role mother that will, your child will not say, okay, for those of you whose mother did not go to school, then you now, you went to school. You get married. The certificate is there. Then, Rezinat Mohammed now came up with her text, The Travels of a First Wife. Okay. You went to school, you are married, you are working, but yet, the plague of polygamy is there to stare you in the face. The outside will say, Uwarigida, Rengida, Uwarigida, Yemi Nirawa. That is the karma they use in deceiving you. When he's going to marry you, he will tell your parents, my wife will not work. You say, hey, she at least let her go to school. He keeps you. When he is bringing the second wife, he brings a working class woman. And when you complain, they will say, Kishi. Then, do not even wait for a rival to come before you tell yourself, I must make myself a person. I must have agi. I must have class. I must have an identity. And I must have a dignity. And for you, the men, a dignified woman, a working class woman, is not a rival. From experience and from what I've heard of friends and males around me, I will tell you, even the illiterate girl you bring from the village can be a saucy wife if she wants to be. It is habitual. When you have a wife that is built has personality, has a career, is able to do something for herself. If you travel and there is no salt in your house, I stand to be corrected. Keep a woman that does not do anything. I'm telling you, I am a woman, even if she has money. The fact that you did not allow her to do anything, Maggi, there is none. You will eat that soup without Maggi when you come back. That's everyday quarrel. There are a lot of us that our parents, we never heard our parents quarrel because there is an understanding. There is a, a, a conformity. There is a compromise between the, my father and my mother. Where they quarrel, where they settle their things, how they run the home, we don't know. We are children, we only see things slow and we eat. The literary writers now went further. The girl who can. Amata Edona said, she is a girl. The young girl in that test, the, she was very slim and very tall. The grandmother would say, hmm, can these slim bones carry a baby? 
can this body be pregnant? She said, Grandma, I don't want to be pregnant. I want to go to school. Then she ended up as the leader of the athletic team in her school. What that text is saying is that it is not only about motherhood, it's not only about giving birth, it's not only about going to school. There is something else called potential that is hidden in you, both man and woman, not just the woman. That potential will not surface until you take steps to discover it. Talk about it. Walk about it. For example, you are a young girl. You went to the university and you graduated. You got married. While you are waiting for your husband to use his scholarship to get you a job, you don't know that he only does not even want you to work. You are waiting. Well, I can learn. And every day you lament. It means your certificate is not useful at that stage. But you need to, your mind needs to work like a revolving engine. Every day, spread your life on a table like food and assess it. What can I do? Okay, if job is not coming, what can I do? I have a foundation. I mentor youths, boys and girls. And I tell them, besides going to school, do something. I have a young girl who is a final year pharmaceutical student. She's a seamstress. She's a makeup artist. She makes beads. She braids hair. She's just waiting to graduate. And I will ask her, what do you hope to do after graduation? She said, ma, not government job. I can't work for government with all these potentials. If she was not mentored, she would not discover them. The determination should be there for you, the Northern Nigeria woman. The determination should be there to go beyond your certificate, like he said. To go beyond your, there are a thousand and one qualifications. Your brain is a universe of itself. Every chambers in your brain has something there called potentials kept for you by God. Go and discover it, woman. We now come back to this text. As a baker destinies of life now said, look, woman, cooperate with your husband. But when he is taking on due advantage of that cooperation and your benevolence and the will to make the marriage work, take a walk. It is better to be alive and try again than to die trying in marriage. You die, he takes another wife immediately. To the men, if you cooperate, build your wife, you will know what marriage, sweetness in marriage is. I know some people here, they know what I am saying, but maybe they will not want to say it. Cooperate and build your wife and get her understanding and cooperation. When you go home, you say, ah, oh, that's Nigidana. You run home because there is a companion. Make her a companion rather than an antagonist, rather than a subordinate. Are we there? Because you, at the same time, will be setting good examples for your daughters and your boys. When they take their wives, they will treat their wives the way you treated yours. When the girls get married, they will be better wives to their husbands the way they have seen you being a better husband to their mother. We go for that. A love like a woman's talks about the sacrifices women make in the process of trying to bring up children. To me, I have a personal, I say, women do not have a life of their own. That doesn't stop you from discovering your potentials, from being, running after that passion and building it that it is in you. Nobody, nobody should stop you from actualizing yourself because it is yourself. Surprisingly, you will discover that when you beat the hurdles, either of marriage or of parents or of culture, and actualize yourself, they will carry you as celebrity. And what is celebrity? I have my own definition of celebrity. A celebrity is not David Doe. It's not Jim Ike. It's not Amatola. A celebrity is that person who does what every other person does so well and uniquely in his own way that he is known, acknowledged, and identified and respected for it. That is my definition of celebrity. Today, I make a clear on call to every northern Nigerian girl child, woman, get up and walk beyond your certificate, just like these writers have said. Hadiza Ismail Rufaye came up in 2017 with abundance of scorpion. And in an interview with her, I asked her, Ma, 
What is scorpion? The wife of the governor of Kaduna said, what is scorpion? He said the scorpion is the problems. The different, different, different negative destinies that plagues you as a girl child when you're growing up. Her conclusion in that text was that walk beyond the scorpions. Walk away from them. They will sting you. Well, if they sting you, you pretend not to hear. You have won. That is your victory. Bomb Girl was written by a young university undergraduate, Madam Bobby. Madam Bobby tried to look at the plight of those women, young girls, who have had problems of first marriage. They end up with VVF. They get to the hospital. They, they came out of the hospital. Instead of being demoralized, they become more determined to take themselves to the next level of their lives. But they manage to live within the stigma of that. Beyond a sack full of wishes, every woman has a lot of wishes, so says Adiza Idris. All these writers I have displayed, apart from Ama Ata Aido, are another Nigerian women. What are they saying? The northern Nigerian woman must get up and walk. If we go back to Abak and Gimba, Abak and Gimba says, yes, the woman needs to go. But yet, we appreciate the position of the men in our lives. But what we are agitating for and we are asking for is that further the men be our friend, be our mentors, be our motivators, not our enemies, not trying to trample us, trample us, uh, 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 bring or pull us back while we are trying to go forward. Because as you do that to the woman you are married because she's another person's child, posterity, somebody is waiting to do it to your daughter. If you treat your wife well, you can stand before any man and say, I will take it from you treating my daughters anyhow. I tell the men to come to look for my daughters. Man, they know they beat my pikino. Uh -huh. I read it as a warning because it, it has come to a state. It is demoralizing, battering. So all these writers have tried to feature the reality of our society in northern Nigeria into their literary works as a common voice with diversified ways saying the northern Nigerian woman Go to school, yes, you need the knowledge, you need the exposure. But if the certificate does not build a career or a personality or help to actualize yourself, take another step. Look at the alternative uh, opportunities around you in your community and be a better woman beyond your certificate. Thank you.